about this first one here, the one made out of wood? Sure, so this is a, a, a pretty early prototype that we made, uh, obviously very low res. The question we were trying to answer with this was, was you know, what would it be like to, to make your own club foot brace? What if we had a, like some sort of a manual, do-it-yourself club foot brace um, type solution? And so this was kind of our first stab at that, and it was really just kind of an experienced prototype for us. So this is quite a leap from this wooden one to, to now a plastic one. What, what's the differences between these two, for example? Sure, so this one is a 3D printed prototype. Um, and basically, the question we were trying to answer with, with this prototype was, what would a clubfoot brace that had detachable shoes on it, uh, how, how would that work? Uh, we, we wanted to make a brace that had detachable shoes to improve ease of use. Um, and we wanted to take our first stab at that, so this was this this was our first stab at that. So we have detachable shoes um, that clip in to the brace. It was the idea that that the the person would have these shoes on and then put the brace on when they needed it, or was it just a way to make it easier to get the shoes on and then attach it to the brace? Exactly. So the idea was to have parents lace their kids up in the shoes first and then clip them into into the clip of brace bar system. Mm -hmm. um, one thing we saw during our need finding was parents just continually struggling to put, um, you know, a, a, a normal club foot brace that, that has fixed shoes on it onto their child with the child wailing around and kicking around. Very, very difficult. You did, you talk about what you saw that and this one doesn't have it. Is this something you discovered after you started working on this? You discovered that need to put the shoes on separately? Is that something that came along during the process? Um, not directly as a result of, of this prototype, more mm -hmm. through our observations of people using existing club foot braces. So it's important that you talk to people who have this, these issues and so forth, not oh, just yeah. design in, in the blinds. So oh, sure. yeah, definitely. It's really important to talk to your users, the people who are going to be you know, using your, your product or, or solution because, um, you know, if you kind of just work off an idea of mm -hmm. them that you have in your head, a lot of times you kind of have these misconceptions that will steer you in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's very dangerous because you end up with a product that, that, you know, doesn't work well for your users. This third prototype here you've got, how is this different than this one? I see it's a different size, but how, is it different in other ways as well? Yeah, so with this prototype, we wanted to create something that we'd be able to test on, on, uh, on someone. And so this one, uh, these are both 3D printed, but this is 3D printed at a more durable material. Uh, we also made it bigger and a little thicker. The shoes still clip on and off via a different mechanism that we thought would be stronger. Um, we actually did test this one out, and, and it did end up breaking. So that's how we knew we needed to, to move up to a material that was stronger. So then there's this fourth prototype, seems a lot different than the one before it. Yeah, so basically between this prototype and this one right here, we did a lot of research into the existing designs and, and IP, and so we had to redesign the connection mechanism so as not to infringe on anyone else's um, you know, existing IP. And so this prototype was really one that was focused around the connection mechanism. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit weaker of a material, but very high resolution 3D printed material. And um, yeah, we were just trying to prototype a mechanism that, that was novel, that wouldn't infringe on anyone else's patents with this one. So talk about the time frame, because this, you know, they're all lined up here and you think, oh, one day I made this, and then a couple of days later I made this, and another day I made this, and how, what does this represent, this time spread of these six prototypes here? Yeah, this time spread of, of these prototypes probably represents uh, several months, maybe even close to a year's worth of work. Wow. So there's a lot of design going into these, prototype to prototype. Yeah, definitely. Okay. A lot of brainstorms, a lot of deliberations between each one, too. I bet. And user, user testing as well? Yes. With all of these? Yes. 